All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're missing our sister, Miss Kwai, but the tea never sleeps, honey. We Come are joined on. by our sister and entertainment personality, Shinika Taylor, hey. who's here to spill it all. Welcome back down to the circle. Yes, family. thanks for having me. We just Great love to see you coming because we know we're going to get all the good gossip. All of it. Yes. All of it. So let's just go on and kick it off. Let's just get on into it. Uh, a lot has happened. Uh, Miss Wendy Williams was spotted without a ring. What's going on? Yes, Wendy Williams, she was spotted without a ring um, mm. at her sober house in Queens, New York. And this is following after her alleged mistress had a baby in Philadelphia. Um, so there's speculation right now. No Nobody knows if this is Kevin Hunter's uh, daughter or not, but Wendy needs to see Mari. We need to get the test. We need to get the results. Oh, man. And, you know, to me personally, I just feel like Wendy Williams, she needs either you leave him, sis, or you're going to cheat back, sis. Because the problem <laughs> is, Wendy told on her show, she was like, you know, don't question my marriages. Marriages are rough. But if right. you see me without a ring, Something is possible. Something's going on. So, Wendy, I don't know what you're gearing up, but right. you know, you a boss woman. You're strong. You can handle it. You got the support of the people. Right. Let them go. You think maybe Let because, them go. You think maybe because she didn't went down to the sober house and she's probably feeling like, you know what? <laughs> okay. Everybody's got to go. Right. You know? Everybody's got to go. He mm. needs to get out the condo. The mistress needs to get out this condo. And they just they just need to leave her alone because people don't understand the effects of being traumatized like this. And then you got to right. be on a public platform. And then you have to be able to hold yourself together. So, you know, shout out to Wendy for keeping it real with us, yeah. um, for continuing to be strong. And Kevin, you you, you got to go. He tripping. Bro, you're doing too we, much. We're just going to pray for, pray that Wendy just keeps trusting the right. Lord. Now, I hear that Dr. Dre caught a backlash with celebrating his own daughter's uh, college no, she got a college acceptance right. letter. So he was excited, but why did the people attack him? Okay, so on the next episode of College Scam. My God! Dr. Can Dre. We just go to college? Come on. Can, can we? He, he posted an Instagram mm -hmm. post um, stating, basically throwing shade, you know, at Lori Laughlin and mm -hmm. uh, Felicity uh, Huffman right. um, about his daughter getting accepted to USC all on her own, no jail time. So mm. it was a lot of shade. So the people were like, hold on. They brought up the receipts okay. and resurfaced, and they were saying, no, you donate. $70 million to USC. Million. $70 million. And here's the thing, like, you know, a lot of people, especially when you um, are wealthy like that, mm -hmm. you know, you give back for your philanthropic deeds, you make right. donations, so we can't really tie it into him right. um, doing this with bribery. Right. However, then Dr. Dre decided he was going to delete the post, so he couldn't handle the social media police, you know, he couldn't yeah. handle none of that. So now we do need the receipts, Dr. Dre. What's really going on? Well, see, you know, it's tough when you got cheering. Okay, because yeah. see, when they attack the children down to the social media, yeah. it's a fire that starts right. in your stomach. So he probably just took it off because he didn't want his right. ass couldn't take it. But he should have... <laughs> his ass. He should have never posted it, Selena, in the first place. Like, what was the point of doing that? Well, he was proud. Yeah, you're right. No jail time. You're right. Your brother, no jail time, I guess. Well, honey, the Is people that... say he could have had jail time for other stuff. But you know what? <laughs> let's, just keep, let's, just, let's just keep moving forward. You know, okay. we are, we're going to say yes to graduation and acceptance yes. letters. Okay. okay. Um, uh, look here, it's say Gucci and Future. What's this going on with so, Gucci Mane? With Future? Well, and, uh, well, no, Future with Gucci. I well, thought this was Gucci Mane. Now, he's, yeah. he got an issue down to the Gucci store. You know, the clothing. Okay, okay so then. Future in a recent interview, um, an Atlanta interview, 94.5. Mm -hmm. You know, we all love streets. We do um, like them. So in that interview, Future was saying, look, all the Gucci that I have already purchased, I'm not boycotting, so I don't care what T.I. has to say. I don't care if Soulja Boy wanted to retire his uh, Gucci band from years ago. Look, I am not that Gucci joining band the boycott. Is on. But this is the thing that I have a future. Like, what was the purpose of going on this public platform and making that statement? Yeah, okay, you don't want to, you know, boycott Gucci. However, if anybody knows uh, why we are boycotting, um, you know, Gucci or the history behind blackface, right. you would know that, you know, this is them. Basically, there were white actors um, racially stereotyping us and dehumanizing uh, African-Americans. It was definitely, it was ridiculous. Ridiculous. So I feel like me personally, future statement was insensitive, illogical, and ignorant. Well, see, what had happened was, if you got one or two pieces, okay, then, mm -hmm. and you didn't bought it already. Right. Yeah, go away your little watch, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not, not me personally, I'm not going to go buy no extra Gucci. Okay. But I'm not going to be running around here with a Gucci hat, a Gucci shoe, a Gucci sock, a Gucci belt. <laughs> See, okay. future them, when they wear Gucci, it's Right, different. they were all the way Gucci. <laughs> okay. It's mushroom belt, right? Mushroom hat. Hello? You know what I'm saying? So, okay, Gucci grills. You feel, you feel? They doing 
doing a lot. So, so they have to do a disclaimer because right. he's going to come out in a full Gucci suit. Right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. We can't G's have that. G's and all. Right. <laughs> we can't have none of that. So. Okay. So we're going to get up off of him. Okay. Yeah. We got We got And we're going to get to the Kang. The okay. K A N G, the king of R and B, self-proclaimed king the now, the king of R and B, the self-proclaimed. Okay, so the people said that um, the DJ, uh, DJ must have stopped right. from performing the cover of Ella May's trip. Now, Absolutely. So basically, we all know the story. You know, uh, Jacquees, he decided that he needed to take down. Well, he didn't. He didn't decide. They told him you have to take down the trip remix. Right. Um, you didn't pay for it. Right. It was You're trying to monetize off of somebody else's work. Hello. Now, this is my problem with Jacquees. Like, if you're such this king of R&B, why are you still tripping off of this old trip remix? We're not even mm. listening to trip like that mm. anymore. Shout out to LMA. It was a great song, but we on a new season. If you're such this king, then just make another hit. But that's the problem. Make a hit. Uh, okay. A hit. I'm just saying. Just one. Just one. You right. An original. Right, in the original uh, one. Hello, somebody. He has no, he has no reason to call himself, the, the, and this is the reason why I don't feel like he's the R&B king. Like, you have nothing. You did cover YouTube music Girl, ain't videos. nobody studying them. Let's At get all. to these women in this good old challenge before we wrap this up. Now, okay. what, what's going on with the women's challenge and the dancing? Okay, so Oscar winner Ruth E. Carter, she yes. has called a women's challenge for in honor yes. of Women's History Month. A lot of people, Gabrielle Union, Angela Bassett, mm. um, Kelly Rowland, they all have um, partaked in this. And, you know, I feel like you ladies on the show, I need to see. I think we what? should do a challenge. Yeah, come on now. What song would you do? If, if it, because this is for, like, basically for Women's History Month, so you pick a song that has empowered you or inspired oh, you. Oh, man. <laughs> My new single, Woman. <laughs> uh, okay. And on this Wait one, uh, Shanika, we, we, we love when you come down here and give us tea, girl. You can keep up with Shanika at Shy Said So on Instagram. Up next, it's all about baby fever, so stay with us. Baby fever, Lord have mercy, no. <laughs>